Hi, I'm Charlie Hodson, Norfolk Chef and Mental Health Ambassador. Today we'll be cooking mac and cheese, but with a twist. What we have here is cooked spirelli pasta, enough for four people, the whole dish. Um, and we just call it with a twist, because obviously macaroni's straight, spirelli's twisted. So we're gonna put that to the side. That's been cooked for about 11 minutes in salted water with a touch of Yare Valley rapeseed oil. So we'll pop that over there for now. So now we're gonna make our cheese sauce using a roux. A roux is basically just flour and fat combined. So what we're gonna do first is melt our butter. So we're just gonna simmer this, melt this down. And what we want to do is just get the, the butter just to bubble so we don't want it to go dark. We just want to keep it nice and light. So you end up getting more of a bit of a foam consistency. And once it starts to foam and all the butter's melted, we'll add a twist of mold and sea salt. And then we'll add our flour. And then very slowly, We'll just add our milk. And what we want, we want to get this to a really nice smooth consistency. So it forms a nice sauce that we can then add our cheese and our Parmesan to. And all the recipes you'll see today, you'll be able to find on East of England Co-op website. So the bechamel has now been simmering away on a very low heat stirring constantly to make sure we don't have any lumps so it's beautiful and smooth. So now we're going to take that off the heat and add our grated cheese. We're just going to very gently bind it in so all the cheese melts and there's enough heat in the pan without turning the pan back on just to melt the cheese so it's nice and beautiful and smooth so we've now got a beautiful cheese sauce and now we're ready for our next part. So the next stage, we have our pasta cooked, our cheese sauce ready. Now what we're gonna do is fry off some lard and bacon. Lard on simply means a piece of bacon that's been cut, approximately about a centimeter wide. We're gonna pop that in there. You might notice I'm not putting any oil or butter in and that's because You've got a nice bit of fat content already with the bacon. So we're not trying to add anything to it because it takes away from the beautiful flavor that we've already got. So we're literally going to quickly cook that on a really high heat. And you'll see when the bacon's cooked that it's just cooked perfectly all right and beautifully in its own fat. So now we've got our lardons of bacon. They've been cooked, so they're just going a lovely color of brown. We don't want to cook them too much more than that because they're going to be baked when we put it to the max and cheese. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn those off the heat and now we're going to put the whole dish together. So in a big bowl, in our metal bowl, we're going to pour our pasta. We're going to add our cheese sauce. And we're going to just mix that together. So what we want to do is make sure that all the pasta is coated. And then to that, we're just going to add our bacon lardons. And we're going to mix all that in together, all coated, and the bacon's mixed between all of the pasta and the cheese. Pop that on the side for a second. And we'll get our dish. And this recipe easily feeds a family of four. Then to add to the top, we're just gonna sprinkle all the Parmesan on. See, when we go back to the fact of families doing things together, there's so many things, apart from where it's really hot, binding the pasta and the cheese sauce, it's where children can take part with their families, their parents. And that's going to go in the oven on 180 degrees for approximately 15 minutes. So that's on its way cooking nicely. But what's always nice is to have a salad. But with winter coming, you don't really want a cold salad. So this is a little bit of a, another twist. 
on a Tuscan style salad. So we've got a really hot pan with a little bit of Yare Valley rapeseed oil in. To that, we're gonna add one large red onion. We're just gonna coat all the onion in the oil. And you'll see that it's already starting to brown because of the heat in the pan and the onion is starting to naturally caramelize. We're gonna add a bit of molten black pepper. A little bit of molten sea salt. Then to the onions, we're gonna add some lovely cherry tomatoes. It's literally just been cut in half. What we don't wanna do is cook it all the way through. So we're literally just getting a little bit of heat into it. A little bit of parsley, it's been chopped. And then this is a really good thing you can do with your children. And children love ripping things apart. A little bit of basil, you're just tearing your fingers. You don't chop it. Nice and rustic. The onions are beautifully just start to caramelize. The tomatoes are nicely warm. You've got in there a little bit of mold and sea salt, the pepper and the basil and the parsley. So now we're just gonna take off the heat and leave that to stand. So now we've got our beautiful warm cherry tomato, red onion, basil, a little bit of parsley beautifully and warm in a pan. What we're going to do is just transfer that into a little bowl. And then we're all guilty of this at home. We tend to take, use our herbs, put the rest back in the fridge, forget about them, end up going in a bin. What I tend to do every week, collect all my herbs up and just Blitz them with a little bit of rapeseed oil from Yare Valley, a little bit of salt and a little bit of lemon juice, which gives it that lovely deep green colour. From the oven, we're just going to remove our beautiful mac and cheese with a twist using spirelli pasta with beautiful lardons of bacon, beautiful cheese sauce, finished with a little bit of parmesan, so it's lovely and golden brown. So that's taken 15 to 20 minutes in the oven to cook through on 180 degrees. So there you have it, our mac and cheese with a twist. Beautiful warm winter salad. Just perfect for family to cook together, eat together, talk together, and what could be better for our mental health.